This is a Shirley card. And if you developed color film between the 1940s and the 1990s, the accuracy of the colors in your photos were pretty much based on this skin tone. Shirley was probably the name of the first person who was pictured on the card. And Shirley became the subsequent name of all the women pictured on the card. That's Lorna Roth, a professor and researcher at Concordia University in Montreal. Usually they were white women who wore very colorful dresses. Color film works like this. There are layers of chemicals stacked on each other that are sensitive to different colors of lights. And there are a series of different types of chemical solutions that are used to develop them once exposed to that light. A combination of all of these chemicals creates a film's color balance. And for many decades, chemicals that would bring out various reddish, yellow, and brown tones were largely left out. The consumer market that was designated in the design of film chemistry was that of the lighter skinned market. So when it came to defining what an idealized international skin tone would be, it, it turned out to be a lighter skin tone than a darker skin tone. If you're shooting people with lighter skins, it looks good. If you're shooting people with darker skins, it doesn't look so good. If you're shooting mixed race in the same screen, then we see the real problems. It wasn't until the 1970s where things started to change, and it came from a very unlikely source. Companies that were advertising different kinds of wood furniture were complaining that Kodak film did not render the difference between dark grained wood and light grained wood. The other companies that Kodak responded to were chocolate makers, because the film couldn't render the difference between dark chocolate and milk chocolate. As the film and television industries became more diverse, color balance issues at the professional level became even more apparent. And in the 1990s, a team of designers at Philips and Breda Holland tackled the issue head on by developing a camera system that used two different computer chips to balance lighter and darker skin tones individually. First people to buy these cameras for television, and they were called the LDK series, were Oprah Winfrey and Black Entertainment Television. Like people who were very aware of these issues. It was around this time that the white Shirley card was joined by the black Shirley card and the Latino Shirley card and the multiracial Shirley card. And Kodak's Gold Max marketing campaign emphasized their film's improved dynamic range. One of the things that they said about Gold Max is that Gold Max is a fine film that can photograph a dark horse in low light. If you were his parents, would you trust this moment to anything other than Kodak Gold film? No other film in the world gives you truer color than Kodak Gold. Today, color film and digital camera sensors have a much broader dynamic range, but the default towards lighter skin and technology still lingers. One of the big mistakes emerged in 2009. I'm sure you heard about it. My coworker Wanda and I are sitting in front of an HP Media Smart computer. It's supposed to follow me as I move. I'm black. I think my blackness is interfering with the computer's ability to, to follow me. So she moved this way, and the camera followed her. And then he'd get into the screen, and it would be completely stable. No face recognition anymore, buddy. My two separate but equal light meters allow me to capture the pastiest whites and the darkiest darks. You deserve to have those memories captured by a true professional. Not ruined by some hack who can't accommodate different skin tones. The fact is there is still a cultural bias towards lighter skin, certainly in how we use technology and sometimes within the technology itself. Technology should be the ultimate equalizer. It should serve everyone's needs without an inherent bias. If a child is born into a society where all of the range of skin tones is the obvious norm, then they can no longer assume that whiteness is the default. 